hat or a hook. It 
never getting released. So with this band, at least we did finally fucking release something. But the second album, which is like, oh my God, the one we've been working on the longest, we haven't even got an album cover for. And it's like, oh, no one wants to do that either? Like, and the reason it got done last time was because I did it. I just fucking took over and just did it and it got done. I, I, I don't want to have to fucking babysit and take control of everything all the time because I have a life too. I have a job too, you know? I have other things in my life just like everyone else in the band, but it just seems like maybe I'm the one that gets pissed off enough or frustrated enough or maybe I'm the only one that cares enough to actually fucking do something and I feel like I can put all this energy and effort into maybe something else. Maybe it doesn't have to be music, but everyone that has known me for doing music, when I bring up walking away from music or not doing music anymore, it's almost like I'm hurting their feelings for telling them that. And everyone's like, oh no, it's such a big part of you and you're amazing and you have so much talent and blah, 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 blah. You know, and I'm just like, in one ear out the other because all this amazing talent and it's, it hasn't gotten me anywhere okay it's been a great emotional release but it hasn't paid my bills and it's been more stress than anything else and when when we are writing oh it feels good it's euphoric you know when I'm on stage singing it's like wow I'm finally doing what I want to do but sometimes it's fucking midnight and I'd rather sleep than be on stage singing so my priorities <laughs> health-wise have totally shifted around and I'm 43 years old and I'm like wow all these other people are like in their 20s what am I doing here the other thing the um, reader told me was that um, I feel like it's too late I've taken too much time and I do she said but that's not true it's not too late you have time and I'm like really because I feel like I feel like it's 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 kind of late <laughs> like, uh, do I want to be? I, I mean, it's different if you're 50 years old and you started your career in your 20s or 30s and you just, you're doing great at it, but it's, it's a lot more of a risk and, and a little different when you're starting in your late 40s and 50s doing the shit. You don't have as much energy or time or confidence or encouragement or, I, I can speaking for myself, I'm not as fearless as I used to be. I definitely have more fear installed in me the more shit I've accumulated and the more bills I have, and the more responsibilities I have at work and with my son and making sure that he finishes college. Well, he's young, so he doesn't have to be almost 50 still pursuing his degree. So I have other things that are going on in my mind. On top of that, health and weight and constantly comparing me myself to other people like wow what am i doing up here <laughs> you know they look great they're doing great this is probably for a younger generation maybe i'm just too too old for this shit but the lady's like that's how you feel but it's not true I'm like well how do i know the difference between what is true and what's not true if that's how i feel i mean it must be true for me it's probably not true for everyone but it's definitely true for me um, I was walking my son up to his fourth floor apartment and there was this woman outside um, smoking a cigarette and she was like, she looked at us and she was like, relation? But he was like, it's my mother, you know, with his like fucking tooth all swollen. I was like, uh, his mom. And she was like, oh my God, I thought you guys were sister and brother. I'm like, Thanks. You know, you look so young. Thanks. Um, I think the problem with looking so young, uh, with me anyways, has been uh, my whole life that I'm not really taken that seriously for uh, the accomplishments I've had because people think I'm so young. How could I know? Or that my whole life everyone has thought my son was my brother or I was babysitting or my cousin um, and so it's been 
a little bit of a challenge to be taken seriously. I think that's that's it. So yes, okay, I look younger than I am. Great, but I'm not, okay? <laughs> I'm not. I may look younger on the outside, but inside I feel my age and according to the chiropractor, inside I look like I'm like 55. So I feel a lot older in, in my body and in my brain than, than how I look and um, that doesn't match up. It doesn't come across very well because I'm not behaving and acting like someone my age probably, I mean the way I look should be acting. I'm not taking shots and partying and having a great time at the bar or at the shows. I'm like ready to go to bed, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's late, it's eight o'clock. I wanna uh, just lay down and, and, and watch some TV. <laughs> I don't wanna be up at midnight partying and drinking and, and now I don't even fucking drink. At least it was fun when I was drinking, but I'm not drinking anymore. I do CBD and CBN and that fucking puts me to sleep. It relaxes me and then I don't want to do shit either. So anyways, I've been kind of frustrated with the band and I'm just like, okay. So since I just sent a text message saying, Hey guys, peace out bitches. <laughs> if you want to talk, give me a call. Zach called once I was on the phone and that's it. I haven't talked to him. I haven't talked to anyone. None of the band mates have reached out to me. But mind you, none of them were fucking picking up the phone before I said I'm walking away either. So I'm really disappointed that I feel like they're not even trying. They're right where they were when I decided to fucking leave. And I almost feel like I just did us all a favor. You know, like I just did what everyone else was just sitting around wanting to do probably because no one is doing shit. And I feel like Tracy Chapman right now, like give me one reason to stay here, guys, and I'll turn right back around. Just give me a reason, give me something to hold on to because I love our music. Our musical chemistry is there, but our spiritual chemistry and our like friendship chemistry is not there. We don't know each other well enough outside of music at all to rely on each other really I mean I got to know Zach for like two months at my home and we're probably the closest but even that still isn't really like are we friends guys are we friends outside of fucking music because this whole year we haven't done shit we haven't gone to lunch we haven't talked on the fucking phone um about anything like just just casual, you know, <laughs> outside of music. I mean, I don't know. I guess that that's where I'm like, wow, where is this going? And why am I even doing this? But I have put like five years into it. So I'm pretty frustrated that it's just sitting there. It's just fucking sitting on a shelf. There's so many albums I've done that are just fucking sitting there that never even got recorded. So we got way further this time. And then I'm like, wow, am I just walking away again? Am I fucking this up? Oh, what am I supposed to do? Just fucking sit around? Just sit and wait for something to happen? Like, is that how bands stay together for so long? Like, they just all put up with each other's shit and just wait around? And then they can be like, oh yeah, we've been together for 10 years, man. But you didn't do anything. You know, like, what'd you do? Oh, this whole last year? We didn't do shit. But you know what? That's another year on our belts. I don't know. I'm, I'm disappointed that I feel like this project, or just music in general, means more to me than it does my bandmates and I, I always hit this wall where I'm like wow really wow really and then I just walk away because I just don't have the patience to deal with the shit just fucking answer the phone you know call talk to me something like I can't be like I'm not a fucking cattle rancher or a sheep herder you know I can't be the one always like come on guys come on guys you know like Anyways, I figured it's only been 10 days. <laughs> it hasn't even been two weeks, but I'll get another 
week or two and I don't know, maybe another week or two I'll be so pissed off I'll be like, fuck! You know? Fuck guys! And cuss them out, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just be like, dude, so I gotta do everything and then I'll just know I can do everything. But that's not what I wanna do. I fucking do everything all the time. I don't want to do that again. <sighs> I gotta focus on myself. Stay tuned to my fucking struggling musician life. I don't know if it's gonna get any better, honestly. But there's a part of me that kind of wants to do jazz. Maybe some funk, some R&B. Because <sighs> I feel like I can be really old doing that shit. <laughs> I don't know, a fucking cover album. Like, I, I'm just gonna like, I have no more pride. <laughs>